In the old Trans Sky region on the eastern cape of South Africa, there used to be little hope for those who had orthopedic conditions. This is Beckford Hospital. Uh, we've been here since 85. This is where all the patients needing orthopedic care from the old Trans Sky, this end of the Eastern Cape, come for treatment. I mean, uh, we get away with a lousy male ward and a lousy female ward, but we couldn't get away with a lousy theatre. So a lot of our energy has gone into the theatre. The theatre is the guts of the hospital. The theatre is the engine of the hospital. That's really the, the engine of the hospital is the outpatients of the theatre and the high care unit and the x-ray department. Those, those units have to work well. Our success rate is very good with club feet. The vast majority of children that we operate on for their club foot are going to develop normally. And many of the club feet are corrected without operating. And we see a high incidence of bone and joint tuberculosis. Unfortunately, infections in the joints and the bones are very common. We see a child almost daily that has a bone, bone or joint infection, sometimes two or three. When she comes out of the hip spiker, uh, she'll be able to ambulate, initially with crutches, but then with no support at all. We lack maintenance. The government really doesn't have enough money for maintenance. We've got no money to paint the hospital, to do simple things like that. We have great difficulty with the ambulance service, uh, getting patients to rural hospitals, and every bit as much rural hospitals getting patients to us in a timely fashion. And a lot of patients, I know they try to get, send them in here, but they just get them here too late. Taking over where the Holy Cross sisters had left off, that was to me, my, my biggest achievement. I mean, no man is an island, and uh, when I leave, I hope there'll be other people to take over and uh, lead the, the orthopedic hospital. <laughs>